What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome back to another FIFA 23 video. It is the next day on the FIFA Ultimate Team Ballers and we're going to have a look at what we have got for today. So of course in play to style, we are now March 22nd. It is the penultimate day. It is Madueki day. He's got four star, four star and these stats. Do you want to be able to afford to complete new SBCs and test out new players? If so, Visit U7 Buy to buy your Foot 23 coins. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. And make sure to use my code NEP at checkout for 6% off. And overall, I can't lie, this is also a little bit underwhelming. It's almost like they started off good and then just fell off a little bit afterwards. Medium low work rates, four star, four stars, nice. Can play right wing and right mid. Finesse shot traits, swerve pass, flare pass, and flare trait is nice. Dribbling's nice, physical's not so good. Stamina's low. Passing for a winger specifically is, is okay, and shooting is okay. But it genuinely feels like Oxay chamberlain Grealish, and Madueke now are a little bit underwhelming. But Kulusevski, Bamford, and Diaz were, both, were all like quite very good. However, it's there. It's there if you want it. Um, oh, is that another... Oh, so, yeah, we've got new team of the week, haven't we? So Silver Stars, guys, has got Lucas Podolski. Mate, what a beast. Outside the foot shot trade. Didn't he have a Silver Stars last year as well? He can play Cam, centre forward and striker. He plays in Polish league now for Gornik Zabrz. Zabrz. Nailed that. Four star, four star, medium low work rates. Early crosser trade, outside the foot shot trade. And I tell you what, that's better than the, uh, the Madueke card we just got, man. No cap. It's much better. And there is a foot birthday sw swaps token in here. Uh, it is Gibbs. Is that it? Yeah. Um, so for him, you need to win three in Silver Lounge. So make sure you go and get those tokens, guys. You are honestly going to want to get them. And for Ramadan, we have got a Ramadan Tifo, a Ramadan kit, a Ramadan Tifo, and some XP, bro. Um, but you need to be wearing the Ramadan kit to get these ones. So make sure to do that as well. And then Daily Objectives is back, which is quite nice. In Milestones, there is nothing there. And therefore, in SBC's Aussie Men as Team of the Week, the number one there, uh, we have got the Noni Madueke Footballers SBC. Pretty average, pretty poor. How does he have better work rate? Didn't the other one have medium low work rates? I need to see. I'd actually be sad. Like, it, it, it is them trying to kill it if this Madueke has got worse work rates yeah how does the 87 have medium low work rates but the 84 has high low work rates which are just better right it's not even up for debate uh it is one segment only for this madueke an 84 rated player in an 82 rated team that's not bad to be fair because you'll be able to get in like four or five 81s in there so that's not too bad at all um, everything else has been re-upped again if you're interested in it. And then FGS Challenge 10 was already... How long is that there for? I need to do that before that expires. Four more days. That's okay. Um, I need to do Patrick Bamford as well in good time. That's it for the SBCs. So let's go and have a look at the team of the week. Oh, squad battles rewards. I do love bronze three. Come on. A premium loan reward pack. That is magic, that is. Um, wait, Team of the Week's not there yet. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go to the store. God, I know there'll be stuff there. Um, what have we got in the store? We have got the 10 coin pack. Come on. Bless me, yay. Hook me up, baby. No, never mind. Don't hook me down. Nothing there for it. Let's discard. And then, just those standard like but like booster packs that are massively expensive. And that seems to be it. So we're gonna have to have a look at the team of the week on Footbin, guys, which I don't find to be too much of a problem, I suppose. And of course, we have had upgraded fantasy fuck cards. If you missed that video, I put it on the channel earlier on today, so go check that out. Um. Is it latest promo? Here we go. So we have got Douglas Louise. Damn, they gave him the star man before, didn't they? What's he got from that? 
two pace. What is that for an upgrade? Nah, that can't be right. They've actually given him plus one physical and plus one dribbling. <laughs> Just not changed the stats. Plus two defending, but only plus one in defensive categories. Plus one passing, plus one shooting, plus two pace is nice. Yeah, that, that's that's a bit silly, that is. Um, Fairs, we've got De Jong, 88 rated. He's obviously already got a 90 rated car in the ga card in the game that is well good. Four star, three star on this one. This won't be that expensive. How much is... Uh, yeah, this is 350k. I think this inform would be maybe like 100, 120k. Um, we've got Sigankov, Osimen. Palacios and Mandanda, the special ones. Almada with the two goals, two assists. But Kairo Saka as an 85 right wing. That's really helpful, EA. He's got an 88 rated card. He's got an 89 rated card. They're both dirt cheap. But hey, let's give him an 85 rated card. That'll really get the people going. What a pointless card. At this point, I know they've made some changes to Team of the, team of the Week that were positive when they made them and has made players like, for example, this Palacios getting... A massive upgrade, right? It's cool. He's still not quite usable. He's also not awful. If you're a Leverkusen fan, happy days. Of course, he bagged two penalties on the weekend. So happy days for him, right? However, this car's 20k for a reason. Steve Mondonda. Ooh, another clean sheet for Big Steve. 80 reactions. He'll actually be a decent goalkeeper. But like, why not just make these cards? Why not? Na why not? Why not? In, like, unless a card already has a card rating above it. Why not just make every team of the week now 90 rated? Why not? Right? I don't think anyone's going to be there going like, oh no, I'm coming up against like 90 rated Osman and it's ruining my gaming experience. When everybody that they play anyway is going to have player of the month Mbappe. Just not going to make any difference, is it? Um, so Osman actually got an upgrade for his upgrade, which is quite nice, but he already has the 88 player of the month, which is basically identical. And so again, a bit of a pointless card. See, Gankov has been given a plus one. With three stamina, which is quite nice. Yeah, do you know what? That's actually a nice card, isn't it? Four star, four star. La Liga as well, which is quite nice. Good pace. Nice stam. Mm. It's, it's, it's going to be cheap, isn't it? Yeah. Who else have we got? Kramaric. Eindienst. Allaire. Teller. Estupinan. Zakagni. Maripan. Rono. Niamsi. Jonathan David was seven days ago. So we've got Leuni, Pollock, Austin. Itten, Getruda, Petratos, Niamsi, run a man. Bit of, bit of, I can't even lie, bit of a dead team of the week. No Kessier as wild. It probably means that he's going to be getting a foot birthday card. Uh, there is a new foot birthday loading screen as well, guys. Brought to you by Foot Scoreboard. We are getting a Brazilian right wing with five-star skill moves. Of course, which we know is going to be Jezinho. Oh, who could the centre forward be? It's probably going to be like Peter Crouch, isn't it? And then a Man City player with a five-star weak for a 97 dribbling. Now, obviously, De Bruyne already has five-star weak foot. That can't be De Bruyne. Man City is Mares, is it? So we've got a Riyad Mares, a Jezzini on yesterday's ones. Um, Karina Kopf. Don't be getting me demonetized now. Yesterday's one was... Let me get it up. That's what she said. George Best and Kai Havertz. Um, so Madueki has actually has high low on foot bin. Oh, does he? This one's upvoted, obviously. Have a look at new players. Madueki's four star, four star. Yeah, with high low on foot. That's interesting. Okay. But this card, for me, like, I don't like the physicals on this one. You know, 77 stamina on this card is a bit whatever. I'd be giving him a dead eye chem star, though. It does make him usable. He's decent. Good dribbling. Good pace. Very good pace. Short passing curve and vision is real nice. Shooting from distance is nice. So, yeah, that's what, that's what we've got, man. But, Joan Felix not have hers. Okay. And I also know that uh, Darwin Nunez got a, uh, a leaked card, didn't he? Yeah, Pushkas. Pushkas coming. Darwin Nunez 90 rated is coming. That's going to be crazy. Um, but there you go, guys. That is the content for today.
I think this Podolski is like honestly quite legit, man. Give him a cheeky little engine. Reasonable for a silver card, isn't it? Or just give him like a dead eye. Bang, look at that, man. Shooting immaculate, passing good. Insane card. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Now I'm out. Peace.